in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ welcome to today's gospel meditation today we are going to meditate on the gospel of matthew chapter 22 verses 1 to 14 let us pray god our father may we love you in all things and above all things and reach the joy you have prepared for us beyond all our imagining we ask this through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew chapter 22 verses 1 to 14 jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables saying the kingdom of heaven may be like to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son he dispatched servants to summon the invited guests to the feast but they refused to come a second time he sent another servants saying tell those invited behold i have prepared my banquet my calves and fattened calf are killed and everything is ready come to the feast some ignored the invitation and went away one to his farm another to his business the rest laid hold of his servants mistreated them and killed them the king was enraged and sent his troops destroy those murderers and burn their city then the king said to his servants the feast is ready but those who were invited were not worthy to come go out therefore into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find the servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found bad and good alike and the hall was filled with guests But when the king came in to meet the guest he saw a man there not dressed in wedding garment he said to him my friend how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment but he was reduced to silence then the king said to his attendants bind his hands and feet and cast him into the darkness outside where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth Many are invited but few are chosen the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ today jesus tells us a parable the parable of the wedding feast In this wedding feast the king is God who prepares a heavenly banquet for his son Jesus the servants who went to summon the invited guest are old testament prophets called to summon Israel but they rejected the invitation later on God sent the apostles to invite gentile bad and good to the celebration those lacking proper attire are cast into the darkness of eternal punishment god is impartial to everyone who are called both jews and gentiles this parable highlights our response to god's call through prophet isaiah god invites everyone to the feast he says on the mountain the lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and joyous wines isaiah chapter 25 verse 6 his invitation is for everyone our god is not an impartial god he treats everyone with same dignity in the parable many invitees did not accept the invitation of the king thus the parable cautions us about the dangers of indifference when the father invites us into a relationship with his son we can either choose to respond or we can quietly decline the invitation and go back to our personal pursuits 
the most deadly poison of our times is indifference says sen max million kolbe another danger brought to our attention with this parable is indignation we all are aware that we are sinners and we need a conversion of heart in such cases the good news and its calls for repentance can seem like a threat to our happiness and our deepest desires for fulfillment of life this may lead us to be hostile to god's messengers in those moments we cannot accept the challenges of the gospel the worldly pleasures can hide our inner eyes and we will not see the light that comes from god finally the parable warns us against incomplete conversion with the reception of our baptism we become god's children and begin to share his divine life this is god's free gift to us which none of us deserves we are clothed in a white garment suggesting our putting on christ and being surrounded by his love but the call to conversion is not ending there mere reception of baptism is not going to make us worthy of the heavenly banquet it needs a constant conversion and acceptance of god's will the man without the wedding garment had neither ignored nor refused the invitation of the feast but his haste to go was not carried through in his life he wanted the good things of kingdom but not enough to break with his sinful ways and live as a committed disciple the book of revelation warns us about this attitude because you are lukewarm neither hot nor cold i will spit you out of my mouth book of revelation chapter 3 verse 16 do we choose to say yes to god and eagerly welcome his invitation to his son's heavenly banquet or do we find what we think are more important things to do than god's invitation do we repent for sins and wear christ's garment of salvation god wants to welcome us do we really want to be with him let us pray God our beloved father enable us to accept all heartedly your invitation to join in the celebration of your heavenly banquet help us to repent for our sins so that we will wear Christ's garment of salvation and will be with you eternally we make this prayer through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god for ever and ever amen may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen